And we're back with some more oxygen not included. And today, uh, we're not going to be focusing on this planet at the start. We'll be doing an awful lot more here near the end. But today, we're going to be going to the oil planet. And on the oil planet, we're going to be acquiring the necessary resources we need. And by that, I mean, yeah, we're going to core this area out and take all the lead and iron back home with us. Well, we wait for the dupes to core out the last of all the good stuff down there. Basically, any lead they can find. And there's not really that much iron in this biome, to be honest. But we do have these little puzzles. These are points of interest buildings they throw up every so often. And they're... To say they're a puzzle is a little bit of a stretch, to be honest. Realistically, you could just dismantle a bunch of walls and walk in. But what we're going to do here is actually solve it, which is, is pretty handy. All we want to do is open that door, which means you need a green signal to come from this AND gate. There's already got one green signal, so we just need to switch that to a green signal, which means we need to switch these two AND gates to green signal. So that one just goes back to there, we turn on the switch, and boom, oh look, it's green, perfect. Then that comes back to here, so we need to turn on both of these ones, fairly straightforward. That one can go on, and then, oh, that one can go on as well. And we'll look at that. We've managed to open the whole thing up. And you know what we can do? We can deconstruct that door so we don't can then dismantle this whole thing for parts. With all of this wonderful sort of construction digging going on, we're, we're actually putting in floors because we're trying to stop stuff from falling down. We're going to want all the diamond and lead and everything back up there at some point or another, so the higher up we can keep it, normally I just let it all fall. But in this instance, nah, I think I think we'll, we'll keep it as high as we possibly can. Well, I want to go down here, though, and have a look. If we could get into that security door, I know there's a morb in there, but we're all in Atmos suits, so I suppose uh, we just don't care? Yeah, that's probably the best way to describe it. And plus, there's a little bit of iron down there somewhere. Alright, what do we got in here? Well, the first thing we've got is a dead morb. And how many germs did it get off? Well, alright, so it had already gotten off some germs. Not really much we could do about that. May have went a little bit overboard. And uh, we can inspect that. There's a database entry. Nothing too crazy. I think it's related to the way the fingerprint scanner thing looks like it's only got a few fingers on it, as opposed to the normal amount of human fingers. Okay, that can be demolished. Uh, you can be deconstructed. We don't want that door there anyway. And oh, you know what? We can demolish that as well. And we do have a neural vacillator. I haven't started using those yet. I think I'll save those up to the end. We'll see who deserves to get vacillated. I think we've got enough lead. We're up to about 95 tons of this stuff. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll grab an even 100 just to, to have an even 100. But barring that, I think we are golden. In fact, we can grab a few pieces from there as well. I think that we've only got 40 tons of iron ore. And there's definitely a lot more of that lying around the place. Yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch over here. We'll grab this while we're here too. And then we'll get out of here. I think we can call that a good run. We've got 99 tons of lead, we've got 21 tons of diamond, and 64 tons of iron that we can turn into steel. Yes, yes, we'll just take all of that. Well, okay, maybe we'll take a little bit of that. Okay, but that's it. That's it. We need to stop getting greedy and just go home and finish off the, the achievements. That's what we came here for, and despite all of the tasty stuff that's present, we're going to ignore it, go back home, and get the achievements done like we planned. Well, that was relatively painless. We're going to take all the junk and we're going to store it inside the rockets. Now, the rockets here, we've made a couple of changes. And by a couple of changes, I mean we ripped out the rocket guidance system and just threw in some automatic dispensers to drop off all the resources that we swept up. This was, well, it was either that or need a bed or something, and I thought that would be more problematic. So just putting these two in here makes it easy. It's kind, well, easier. I can't really see a better way of uh, replacing them. Okay, once that's all loaded up, we have strip-mined this planet quite efficiently. There's not a lot of stuff left. Okay, there's a bunch of lead and stuff over here, but we've got enough lead for our needs, which is building a bunch of rad suits. So I'm thinking we head back home. We've got everyone back on board, crews are sorted. Now, I'm sure they will shred the solar panels while they're leaving, and they might also incinerate the power wires. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. No, they actually did quite well, and um, the solar panel didn't even smash open. Overheat damage, well, yep, that's going to be there for a while now. That's going to get really annoying. And now we've got ten warnings. It's it's fine, it's fine, that won't be too annoying. We'll, we'll survive. All right, down here, I've been still trying to get the bam lily to grow. It won't. Temperature would not go up fast enough, so I just installed four more speed space heaters. This place is going to be real toasty real quick. Oh yeah, 34.7. We just need 0.3 of a degree more, and that will start growing. And this one just needs 0.3 of a degree more, and then that will start growing too. And we can we can start trying to mutate those. We're getting to the point now where I want to get into proper crops. But first of all, we want to knock out the bulk of the achievements. 
there's uh, the main achievements we want to go for, but the reason we're sticking, we've been sticking on 20 dupes is so that we can do what we're going to do next. Our rockets have arrived back home. The crew is all here. So now, and somehow we've knocked out an achievement somewhere along the way. I'm not even sure which one it is. It is Radical Trip. Have Radbolts travel a cumulative of 10 kilometers. Ah, yeah, that was, well, I've been setting up the Radbolt generators to, what, 100 Radbolts a piece and getting them to fire up here to refuel the engines. I figured... The travel distance extra would help on that one. I probably should have re- I didn't think it'd take me that quick, though. 10 kilometers worth? Okay. Well, we'll crank you all the way back up to 500 rads again. Research-wise, oh man, we have- We've knocked out everything all the way up to Monument. So we've got the Monument done. We've got some uh, automation receiving down here and then multiplexing. Then once that's done, all we have to knock out is solids management. And the rest we can just click on cryofuel propulsion and it will lock out, knock out the remaining three. So yeah, one more research thing or two more research clicks and that will be all of the research queued up to go. I'm liking it. Uh, at the same time, we're going to do some tidying up down here. We're going to get rid of that supercomputer and that research station. And we have moved them up here. Uh, there's the research station. There's the supercomputer. We'll just have everything up there out of the way because I want to do some automation to take care of some of the achievements. For example, over here we've stuck in an auto sweeper, conveyor loader, and we're getting all of that polluted dirt and sending it over here to the bookshelves. They eat polluted dirt, they, they poop out sand, we're going to need some sand soon enough. But more importantly, we want to knock out easy living. Auto sweepers outperform dupes for five cycles. What this means you have to have more deliveries done by auto sweepers than by duplicates. So we're going to be doing a whole bunch of automation in the very near future. The next one up is job suitability. For 10 cycles in a row, have every duplicate in the colony complete at least one chore while wearing an exosuit. This one is going to be tricky, but we have a plan. Oh, and there's one other one. Home sweet home. Have everyone on the colony have, I think it's 20 plus morale, and build a great monument. I want to knock out this one as well. I want to knock out all of these ones that are going to require us to have a set amount of duplicates doing a certain amount of things and knock them all out now. Then we can start hiring more duplicates and going a little bit crazier. So, for job suitability, we're going to put a little something down here that the comments recommended right after this atmosuit talks, so everyone has to be in an atmosuit to do this task. Behold! Showers! Showers count as the task, and you can do showers in an atmosuit. I, yeah, it's just the way it, uh, who knows. Anyway, you may be asking, wait a minute, are you building showers, Francis? Who are you? What kind of horrible impersonator are you? And what have we done with the real Francis? Well, those are all good questions, but we're only doing this for the achievement. We don't care about the morale or anything like that. It just means we can set everyone to have a schedule to go and actually go to the washroom. We'll change their schedule. We'll give everyone a bath time slot. And that means everyone will go grab a shower and that will count as their one errand a day in the Atmos suits so we can knock this whole thing out. Otherwise, we would have had to like completely redesign the base, have Atmos suit docks outside everyone's bed. It, it would have been really awkward. But this way, we just get them to have a shower. I mean, kind of works, right? Also, I, I think we just knocked out the second to last research. Pre yeah, we got solid ma solids management. That means the only research left on the entire tree is these three. So yeah, that one we can knock out real quick and then it'll take a while to do the last two. But we don't need cryofuel for a little bit. So yeah, we'll be, we'll be okay on that front. All right, let me finish off these showers. All right, that was incredibly quick, but I suppose we've got the whole team home and we're going to have the wastewater from this. So clean water will come in here. The wastewater will get sent out oh, that direction. Those two can hook up and that will send the wastewater up here where it'll get filtered and dumped back into the system. Pretty handy. We only need to keep this for 10 cycles and then we can rip the whole thing out. Uh, also, well, stone is becoming a problem. In fact, all of the resources in terms of rocks are becoming a problem. We have, say, 150 tons of igneous rock, but we're down to 45 tons of granite and 8 tons of sedimentary, namely because of, well, our hatches. They're eating it all. I've uh, disabled another one of the ranches again now that food has become less problematic, so we need to start thinking about moving over entirely to a water-based crop system or ones with a bit of dirt. Yeah. For our next step, we're going to do a quick bit of plastic laying down here, namely because we're going to be putting conveyor rails through this section, so let's maybe rip out all of this raw material that's just been lying around since, what, 438 cycles right now? Dear lord, that's terrifying how long this stuff has managed to last. While that is going on, we're also going to throw in a textile loom. That textile loom is going to allow us to produce some clothing to knock out another achievement. So to in decrease the amount of manual moving everyone's going to have to do, we're going to get all of the food that's picked up out of here and move it over there. All of the eggshells that are produced out of here and move them over there for smashing. Actually, it might be easier to do the smashing over here. Can we fit that in? Nope, nope, we cannot. Damn it. Hmm, let me think. Well, we may have made a few minor 
changes here. Um, I'll probably have to wait until this is finished before I can explain it because I'm not sure my brain is 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 good enough at the moment. In fact, we'll stick another auto sweeper there. We're, we're really going to try and uh, there's ways you can game the system to get more auto sweepers going, but uh, that's not. I'd prefer to actually automate everything as much as possible. It does actually help us out in the long term, as opposed to say this one down here, which is kind of pointless to do, having everyone do a, a task in a suit. So I don't mind gaming this a little bit by everyone going to grab a shower. Which reminds me, how are we doing on that one? Well, eight people today have completed exosuit errands this cycle. Let's, uh, let's see what it, yeah, 438. Let's see what it's like at 439 midday. So one cycle from now. And let me finish this off and I'll hopefully be able to explain it. Hopefully. All right, I'm going to do my best to explain this Byzantine system, but uh, honestly, I kind of threw it together on the fly. This was not planned in advance. I kind of just am throwing it together now. So, all right, over here, we're going to have our hatches hatch. And when they hatch, they're going to leave behind eggshells and meat. So we want to take all of that meat and send it up here to our cooking section. So we just tick the lot. Any food that ends up in here will get sent up to the cooking area, at which point this auto sweeper can either load it into the cooking in for cooking, or it can load it into one of these, uh, whatever, fridges. Done. However, we also get eggshells. So we want these eggshells to go down here so they get smashed up into lime, which we're going to use to make steel. So in theory, all the eggshells will get lifted out of here, thrown into this conveyor loader, and dropped down here, where the auto sweeper can either load them into the storage bin, or can throw them into the rock crusher, where we're going to set it up for eggshells to lime forever. Not yet, not until we actually start to get this thing running. So that seems fairly straightforward. However... <laughs> You'll notice we've got a line coming from over here. That's because these fish over here are going to hatch. And when they hatch, they leave behind Paku fillet. And they also leave behind eggshells. Or, well, they leave behind the eggshells, which we immediately grab, throw into the conveyor loader, and they get sent across to here. So once all the eggshells have been lifted out of there and sent across there, they'll end up in this section where that'll pick them up and dump them down there. So that'll actually be a double. We'll get a, a twofer out of that one for deliveries. As well as that, we're also setting up so any edible stuff, like, say, Paku fillets that drop, will also get shipped over there. So all the Paku fillets will end up shipped over here, which will also get dumped up to the cooking area. You know, win-win-win situation for us. Oh, and uh, this here is just for the expansion of eggs. Like, the uh, eggs get picked up by this auto sweeper here and dumped in this section where they're nice and hidden. We don't want any... Uh, that, that's, that's just for breeding stuff. Nothing to do with what we're trying to achieve here. Then for even more simplification... Oh, wow. Um, yeah, let's go with, say, these ranches over here. These ranches over here, they pick up all of the the meat. So we set them to pick up all of the meat, the eggs, all that stuff. So that all gets shipped over here. All the meat, eggs, everything. Once all the eggs and edible stuff, as in the meat, whenever they die, they'll also get shunted in here. All the meat and all the eggs end up in here. Then when the eggs hatch and the critters in here die and the meat arrives, we get all of that and we chuck it in here. So all of the cooking ingredients, all of the edible stuff, and where is it? All of the eggshells, that all gets picked up. In fact, we're also going to pick up one more thing. Where is it? Plastic. So yes, plastic as well. That will all get shifted down here. In fact, we can, you can see that taking effect now. This, that's going to take a while. Anyway, that will all get sent down here. The plastic will get filtered out and chucked into this section. And then all of the meat and eggshells will get sent down here, all the way across here and over to our nice little sorting place in this section. That means our duplicants shouldn't have to carry any of that stuff around. It'll cut down on all the jobs and stuff they have to do. Also, as well as that over here, all of these, if any of these die and leave meat behind, that meat is also collected and shunted over into this section as well. So, eggs, edibles, everything. This should drastically cut down on the amount of stuff our duplicants will have to do. In theory. Now, down here, I've been checking on, where is it, colony summary. This was not working. Not as we were hoping. So, job suitability, you know, we're only at 11 of 20. We should be at, you know, 20 of 20. But what was happening was... They were coming down here. Let's just uh, open up the schedules for the moment and find Brendan. Ah, yes, here's Brendan. Uh, they were, I was having the, uh, the, sh the bath time at the top here. And what was happening was they'd only come to bath time after they'd used the bathroom, after they'd eaten, and after they'd done their recreation. Once they'd done all of that, then they'd come down and use the showers. And they were usually running out of time. The moment it hit bedtime, they just canceled the shower they were having and buggered off. So now, now they actually come down after they wake up. So first thing in the morning, they go grab a shower, which actually seems uh, more appropriate. Oh! And these are growing. They're, at, they're actually growing over here. Yes! Yes! Grow and be mutated. And you also grow and be mutated. I'll, I'll probably plant more of you. What's the temperature like in this section? Yeah, you know what? We can let it get a little bit toastier. I don't mind. It took so long to raise the temperature. What are you, 38.7 degrees? Yeah, we'll wait until you're 40 before we even think about moving you out of there. Oh, yes. 
thankfully. Well, it's coming up on the end of the cycle, and we have a problem. But it's okay, I figured out what the problem is, it's just an annoyance. Job suitability, we have 19 duplicants who have done an errand in an Atmos suit, or exosuit, whatever you want to call it, and one of them who haven't. Where is that one? Well, that's a very good question. That one is on another planet. Thrawn Contrilia. I knew I was going to have to bring these back at one point, so I brought one of them back already, and Alex is the only one who hasn't gone back yet. We do. We have done some prep work here, though. We have set up, uh, we sent over some steel, and we're using that steel to remove all of the gas from this area. So all of the natural gas that comes out of this, we can harvest that for later and send it all the way back home. And we've even got a little storage tank we've set up over here so that we can keep the natural gas there. We can use that to run our gas grill so we can make some higher quality foods in a bit. However, Alex, I think it's time for you to leave. We're going to teleport them back home, and that should take care of the problem. Once they're home, we get... Oh, yeah. Uh, teleport, please. Boop. Perfect. Now that they're home, we can assign them out of bed immediately so they don't do anything stupid. Uh, we don't want them taking one of the randomer beds. Now, Alex can stay in there. You see, we have to be really careful. This bed here, I keep having to assign it to Millington because that's the only one that has light on it. And that's the only thing that helps them keep uh, sane at night time. There's just a few little minor bits of stuff like that you got to take care of. But with them home and them set up to take showers, that should start getting job suitability out of the way. As for the deliveries one, well, the delivery one's not quite done yet, but we have... Uh, why is there polluted water there? Oh, yes, I deconstructed a pipe. Yeah, the showers, it seems, were causing a little bit of a backup in the system. I had not I had to put in some bridges to make flow go correctly. Don't, don't worry about it. All worked out in the end. For our next trick, we're going to do the rooms one. Now, the rooms one should be fairly straightforward and simple to do. We just got to add in a hospital, a recreation room, and a bedroom. So, hospital should be fairly straightforward. Turns out making a hospital should be pretty simple. Here we go. Hospital done. All we needed was one medical bed, one one toilet, and one mess table, which we will disable. Now we just need a bedroom and a rec or a single bedroom and a recreation room. Pretty straightforward. I'm pretty sure we don't even have to plug any of this stuff in. So there is a barracks. Wait, why is that a barracks? Single bed, no industrial machinery. Room size 20. What? Comfy bed unassigned? Why are you a barracks and not a bedroom? Needs a decor item. That's what we're missing. We'll just put in a, a quick decor item and we'll call it quits. And that should be an achievement. Done. Excellent. Now we can demolish all those rooms. All right, how are we doing on job suitability? Okay, nine of 10 so far today and easy living. 32 sweeper actions, only 24 duplicate actions. Okay, that might actually be working. Okay, let's see how that goes. All right, uh, just let me delete these rooms real quick. We don't actually need them. There we go, much cleaner. However, there are some problems. We've got 17 of 20 duplicates who have actually completed a task. And those two are two more about to complete it, bringing us up to 19 again. Uh, the only one who has not completed a showering this round is Charlie Barnes. Uh, so Filthy Charlie here has a problem. They're running on the wheel a lot, which is messing with them. So I'm going to take them out of training. That's right, they are leaving training. This should hopefully be the last time we have a failed attempt at getting the job suitability this round. Uh, whatever, go do your bathroom stuff. And next round, we should be back on track. As for, where is it? Easy living. Easy living is looking pretty good. We've got 52 auto super actions versus 32 duplicate actions. I think we're finally getting there. I'm putting in auto supers just about everywhere to load machines. As far as I can tell, Dropping stuff off at an automatic dispenser doesn't really count. It's only when they take it to machines or hand it off to, say, electric grills, rock crushers, or uh, critter feeders and stuff like that. And all of that stuff we're automating away. I'm even automating the science and everything as much as I can. Oh, that reminds me. Snazzy suits. You, go grab uh, Alex Riley. You can grab Arctic Fox. Give me a second. Everyone should come along and grab their clothing. And that should immediately knock out another achievement. Come on. There we go. Calling achievement earned. Uh, that's the one for clothing? Yeah, and nowhere to go. All dressed up and nowhere to go. We got eight of them done. Now, there's a few of these we're not going to be able to knock out. Critter Whisperer, we've got access to... Well, actually, our Slickster's died. We've got access to a Puff and Poke Shell, so I'm not really too much in a rush about those. And we can't get our hands on a Shovel until we go to another planet, and a Gassy Moo until we go to another planet. I'll, so I'll worry about that stuff later. Uh, cooling down a building is going to require super coolant. We don't have access to that. Uh, where is it? Home sweet home we can actually do. All we need to do is build ourselves a great monument. I think that's going to be next on the agenda. Then we've got art underground. Oh, 
you know what, we just have to scrub someone and get them to do that painting, that's pretty handy. Blocking a meteor, we're going to need to do that on another planet. Auto sweepers outperform, yeah, we're working on that. And job suitability, working on that. GMO AOK, -okay, we're still working on two of those plants. And the other ones we need to actually go find. Then there's Mind the Gap. Oh god, that one's going to take the longest. And then there's Cluster Conquest, which means we have to land duplicates or rovers on four of the 11 planetoids. Before we go any further, there's one problem we have to take care of, and that is this pipe in here. There's a pipe in here that got broken, a ceramic one. Uh, I had this set to 5C and it somehow it broke. It shouldn't have done it, but it has happened, so we're stuck with it. So what I've done here now is so I've put in some naphta right here. And uh, we're going to chop out this tile, and if we've done this right, we should be fine. If anything goes horribly wrong, we fall back to the airlock. Okay. Ooh, yes. Now, what are you doing? Supplying construction materials to... Yeah, okay. Now, the only people allowed in here are Millington and Arctic Fox. Namely because I, I only want to bring in two people. If I bring in any more, it starts getting too complicated. Now... Millington, we basically waited until they went down for a shower in the morning, then dropped one of the Atmos suits off and got them to put it on manually. This means they're Atmos suited up and should be safe inside there. And how's that Napta looking? Temperature's going up, but not seeing the steam condensing, which is good for us. That is very good for us. Okay, complete that. They're also replaced. While well, they're in there, we're also having them replace the heavy watt wire. Uh, we want that heavy watt wire replaced with conductive heavy watt wire. That way it won't fritz out our grid if we go above 20 kilowatts on it. Now, where's Arctic Fox? Arctic Fox, where are you, buddy? No, oh, Arctic Fox taking a nap. Once they wake up, though, they're going to be joining in. We just have to make sure to get them to put on an Atmos suit. And what the hell is going on over here? We'll make those priority eights, maybe? You should be set to a prioritized building. Come on. Or maybe you don't have the skills. It might take an, a mechatronics engineer to do that. So in that case, we will undock that suit, and we'll get Arctic Fox to put that one on. They turn around. Perfect. Where are you going? You're showering. You came all the way over here to help, and then decided to go showering. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I suppose it's important for the achievement. You know, I gotta give it to them. They do look pretty happy in the showers, even if they are wearing Atmos suits. Yep, that's right, you're you're doing a good job washing those Atmos suits. Those Atmos suits must be spotlessly clean by now. Alright, now uh, do us a favor. Go grab another suit, would you? There we go. Now, has anyone got around to repairing the frickin' pipe? Which is the main reason we came in here. Seriously. Is is anyone anyone gonna repair that? No one no one wants to. A waiting yep. And you're gonna think about it. Store Igneous Rock. Uh, where's our other person? All right, here they come. Just, just finish it off. Come on, I want to get out of here. Seriously? Just finish it! Someone gonna... Uh, Arctic Fox is gonna repair it. So one of you brings in the equipment, but the other one... Ah, you muppets. Just... I need you out of here, like, right now. And I think that's it. Perfect. Now we'll just... Brick that in there. We don't want to destroy the steam. How much steam is in there? That's 200 kilos of steam. You know what? Don't care. Whichever one you finish first, just go for it. Well, we ended up destroying a couple hundred kilos of steam, but it was worth it to repair the system. All right, is that flowing again? Yes, perfect. Wait a minute. Let's just look this way. You know, let's just let's just start it running again and worry about it later. Of course, the first thing that happened the moment we turned it on was it uh, it, it immediately caused cold damage. Yep, because there was something in there that was below temp. Okay, you better not... Oh, Millington, you can uh, unequip that suit, to be honest. Yeah, go put that back. And we should probably tell that pipe to stop complaining so much. Now that this whole system is up and running efficiently again, the first thing we're going to do... Steel. Lots and lots of steel. The reason being, we need that so that we can build the statue. Uh, we need that for one of the achievements. At the same time, I think... I think things are working. Where is it? If we go down here to... Job suitability, we've got, for three cycles in a row, all 20 dupes have completed an errand while wearing their Atmos suit, which is showering. They all had a shower. You know, we should be proud of them. You know, hygiene and stuff. We're about to get one level in easy living, I think. Auto supers are at 85, duplicates are at 59, and we're about to hit the end of the day. I'm, I'm liking the looks of that. Oh, and uh, we're slowly replacing all of these Drekos with glossy ones. It's it's slow and painful work for the Drekos, but for us it's usually pretty much okay. 
All right, we'll chop that out, and then what we're going to have to do is replace that with the hydroponic style. The problem with replacing them with hydroponic styles is, uh, you know, the moment the, if we try and delete, we can't replace them directly, we have to delete the tile first. And if we delete the tile, well, then all the Drekos try and escape. So we kind of have to build the tile first to stop them from escaping, which will, of course, cramp them a bit, and then remove the tile and replace it with the hydroponics that we then put some bristle blossoms in. Oh, and yeah, it just went, the day just turned over. Let's see how our, uh, our achievements are looking. Uh, job suitability to three and oh come on seriously is that easy living one actually working it better be working uh, never mind we'll, we'll keep going look at them it's like they could sense there was going to be a gap there and they just all came over to try and escape out and convinced the game is just trying to let them get out on you halo davis here is getting a bit of an upgrade and by upgrade i mean we're turning them into an artist why so that we can knock out a single achievement and that is it now, after a long, hard think about it, I think we should definitely put the art in the bathroom. That's, that's where all the good art goes, as far as I'm aware. So, turns out, won't fit in there. We don't have enough space for a painting in the bathroom, so instead, we'll put it over here. Nice painting there should be grand. Uh, at the same time, we've encountered a tiny, weensy bit of an issue. Uh, one second, hopefully we can fix it now. Water down here is coming out at about 30C. That's, um, that's not good. So what we've just done now is released an entire old bottle of water in there that was uh, quite a bit more than that. That will cause a little bit of an overpressurization for a bit, but that should mean the water coming out now. Yeah, it's cooled down a bit. It's no longer coming out too hot. Excellent. So I was really expecting that to sort of cause a big explosion. That was five tons of water we just released. Okay. Maybe we'll release a couple more. All right, releasing five more tons of water, but this time at 24C. Is that actually... That worked, right? It didn't just vanish mysteriously. I have no idea what just happened there. You know what a better idea might be to do? Just just sweep it. Maybe that would be a better idea. Just sweep the polluted water up. It will get swept up to the top air duplicates and then poured in via bottle, bottle emptiers. That might actually be a saner plan. Uh, down here, you see, we, we turned off this water. We were getting this water to go through here to add heat, but uh, right now this is active, which is great, and these two are dormant. So I think we need to actually moderate the temperature. Hmm. You know what, we'll, we'll, re we'll put down a insulated tile there again. All right, now the water's coming out at a reasonable temperature. Perfect. That's 95, 98. This stuff is still stifled, but hopefully the temperature should equalize there in a little bit. Yeah, oh, damn, that got hot quick. Okay, now we're getting 29.9 .9 to... 29.9 bits coming in. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Probably. Maybe. When it comes to the colony summary itself, I think we should be doing rock solid. Oh, actually, we got art underground. Nice. And now when it comes to job suitability. Oh, come on. Oh, it's the start of the day. That always resets. The top counter always resets to zero at the start of the day until everyone has done their chores. Once everyone gets up to 20, then the counter comes back to being normal again. And as for easy living, I am not sure what's going on with that one. That never increments no matter what I do. I'm just hoping it's bugged out and will eventually happen. All right, I don't know what happened, but it seems to have all reset again. What the hell? It's gone back to one and that one's gone back to... No, that one hasn't done anything at all. So job suitability has bugged out again. Dear Lord, how much time do I have to give them for bathing so that they actually make it on time? You know what? We're going to give everyone a couple more chunks of bat time. That's right. It's going to be just bat time all day long. That feels like entirely too much downtime. They're, they're, they're actually getting workers' rights at this point, just so that we can get that achievement done. To help out with the cooling a bit, we, we just threw down some quick ice plates. Well, why not? It's it's one of those tricks that never gets old. All right, we'll mop all of that up, though, and uh, put the water away. Well, we're back on track. We've got... Two cycles of job suitability. That's going to take... Oh my god, that's so annoying. This is why we haven't been hiring any more duplicates. Because trying to do this with 20 is hard. Try and imagine doing this with 40. Okay, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, auto sweepers, I think that's just going to finish at some point. Because we definitely have more auto sweepers, auto sweepers doing more actions than the duplicates. I, uh, I even stuck down a, a kiln down here just to start, you know, churning out refined carbon even though we don't need it. And while that's going on, let's do one more achievement. I'm thinking we're going to need a monument base right about there. And then we're going to need a monument midsection right about... Oh, yeah, we'll have to wait till the first bit's done. Well, would you look at that? I think that's an achievement. Uh, imperative achieved. Wait, that's an imperative, not... 
also an achievement. Uh, I suppose, spoiler warning, I mean, it's th this is the first one they ever released, I think, or one of the first real endings they ever released, and Arctic Fox, what are you doing in that ship? Well, yeah, I kind of wish I'd picked a different statue now, that one looks not great. We'll, we'll pick a, a better statue in a minute. Hmm. Yep, I love that our origins and uh, just have you know a big dirty party room afterwards. Where's the where's the poor dupe caught cleaning up afterwards? All right, done. Now all we do is we just have to find the correct torso and body and such like that matches our dupe or matches our base. Uh, actually, you know what? I got an idea. Yeah, that's much better. I was trying to avoid mods, but yeah, totally worth it. Totally worth it. I regret absolutely nothing. All right, Aku. I think we'll, we'll cut that out there for today. I'm going to just keep grinding away at this for the next eight cycles or so until we actually knock out, where is it? Yeah, job suitability. And easy living better knock itself out as well, or I'm going to lose it. <laughs> you see, once we've got these two done, we can start hiring more duplicates. We can't knock out job suitability, you see, while people are in rockets, because they won't put on atmosuits while they're in rockets, unless we, well, design the rockets weird. And easy living is too hard to try and micromanage when there's people working on other planets. So I'd like to get these two done, and then... Then we can go absolutely nuts, as we can hire about another 10 or so duplicates, and then we can expand our rocketry program and put in a whole bunch of stuff for that. Yep, yep. that that's for the next episode. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and good luck.